mean, the motherfuckers even more OP. If the Jets wasn't already OP as fuck. Not Jerry Cook on the team. Not Jerry Cook, Delvin Cook, whatever the fuck his name is. One of them Cook boys. One of them Cook boys. Cause it seemed like all the motherfuckers at one point in time, they could real absolutely dominant. So one of them Cook boys. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the New Orleans Saints. Saints, Will Lutz has it teed up, and here we go from New Orleans. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Rodgers going to come out throwing. A short throw to Conklin, the tight end. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. Not much there. Maybe a couple up to the 35. An early test for this defense. Here we go on third and inches. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. Running for it. Here's Cook. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. They only needed a few inches, but still some anxious moments there, but they do convert on fourth. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm not so sure I would have made this call. I'm not so sure I would have said, yeah, let's go ahead and get this one, especially at this point of the game. But give him credit, he had a feeling and carried it through. Yeah, that's one where you think, okay, if you're down, two minutes left, the ball's near midfield, you go for it. But at this stage, at that part of the field, but like you said, it worked. Setting up the screen for Cook. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 11 more on that one and another first down. Rodgers changing the play, it appears. Rodgers now. On first and ten. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. They work again from the 38 on second and ten. To throw, it's Rodgers. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Oh, I don't know if he sent in contact to cover or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Now they'll change things up. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. He has a man, it's complete to Wilson. And he will reach the eight yard line before going out. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. 
They'll run with Cook. And it'll work his way closer to the goal line as he's got five down to the three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, it's Cook. Pushing for the end zone, but he's not going to get there. They stop him just shy of the goal line. Cook is in. Touchdown, Jets. The game is just disingenuous, man. That shit crazy. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. I thought you don't mind losing the game right quick, but like you want to run commit, the run commit, and all that old type of shit, you know? But they got to fix that type of stuff, bro. So they got like six almost invincible teams right now that you catch hell trying to beat if you're not playing with one of them teams. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Like, honestly, it really don't make Cardinal sense to do how we done. First and ten at their own like, cover through your man, one and two. Yeah, I can read all that, but hey, guess what? To start the drive. They'll set up the screen down to Camaro. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Now Carr. Back to Camara for another catch. 49 yards there, a big one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. now on first down. And this is caught. 36 yards on the play. Now we know this offense has the potential to strike quickly, and they just bit off two huge plays on back-to-back -back snaps. So on the other side of the ball, you've got to go band of brothers' thought process. No one left behind. No pointing fingers. No yeah. Touchdown. Nah, dog. I don't. I don't get no wild comebacks, dog. Madden already make it up in their mind whether I win or lose the game. That's why my receivers drop wide open passes. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away. And they're going to 
to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now it's Rodgers. And that's caught inside the 35. He may go. And all the way down. Okay. These two teams all tied after one. touchdown here in this first half and the Jets have taken the lead Zerline now for the PAT and he's got it it's now a 14-7 ball game <laughs> Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Uh, how did he catch that block, Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. After that last score we just saw, now 14 to 7, so a chance to march down the field here, try to tie this football game. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Carr. That's complete to his running back, Camaro. The Saints first down there on a gain of 11. Escaping the pressure right on the run. He'll let this go deep right side. Let's go. But as you noted, stayed alive as a passer, tremendous body control, and a pretty good arm there, too. Lux with the extra point, and we are tied at 14. Turn. 
Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Here's Rodgers to throw. He'll get this to Lazard. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Throwing is Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catch in the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. The second down and tip there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there that took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progression and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. To throw is Rodgers. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good, but when you can couple that with contact on him, it leads to an incompletion as we just saw there. That's winning football. They're going to line up to go for this on fourth down. Rodgers stays on the field. They'll go for it. It's Rodgers. They're going for Lazard, but this is intercepted. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. He made the play of the game for his defense right there. Lutz will look to add the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score Six, they'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. So we can hold on and go on with the uh, uh. and a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30 yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now Rodgers to try again after the pick six. Got a man that's Lazard. On the move past the 40, inside the 20. Come on, bro. The way in, touchdown, New York. Alan Lazard, 71 yards. And the Jets are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Face 
Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Another attempt now from five yards further back. He's got it, and we're all tied at 21. Couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. And this take it in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drop could really hurt their momentum. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They'll set up to throw. And left side here, it's Graham. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. To throw, it's Carr. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Mm -hmm. And they hit him as he throws as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Jets are going to get the football here in great field position. Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazard. Oh, touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Jets have taken the lead. What a first half he is compiling here. He's already over 100 yards receiving and now two touchdowns, CD. Brandon, you know I don't like to play the game where you start projecting when you're at a certain point. Well, let's face it, he's off to a tremendous start. So 200 yards, four touchdowns. I don't think anything's out of the question right now. He's blowing up coverages. You've got to double him every snap. Otherwise, he's going to defeat you on almost every play. When they start dropping wide open passes, you know how it's going to go. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shaheed. And they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback.
Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And last time, went for it on fourth, didn't get it. We'll see if they can pick themselves up off the mat and do better this go around. Sometimes I have this vision of coaches writing notes to themselves before a game. And sometimes that note says, be aggressive, stay aggressive. Maybe that's what we saw in the last possession. Yeah, they were very aggressive. This time, will it result in points? We'll find out. Now Carr, thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Parker, I think this will want to ride very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. So after the INT, it's Rodgers. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. The Saints gonna call the first of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Rodgers to throw on second down. Catch is made by Hardman. Touchdown. Wow. Aaron Rodgers, three first-half touchdown passes. And the Jets are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And, Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Now Zerline on and the extra point. Rodgers directing traffic, going to change the play. He knocks it through, and it's 35-21. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with a little under a minute remaining, they may try to put something together here just to try to cut into that deficit. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. They'll get this out to Camara. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now Carr. Alvin Camara wheeling it in on back-to-back -back plays. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans. Number two. As the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Motherfucker. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've I'm seen sure in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Car to throw again. He'll Bro, God, down. fucking damn. He's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And 
and we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis on Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Saints going to go on offense first and they trail here as we begin quarter number three. And that'll be a little too hot to handle as it will skip through the end zone for a touchback here. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here, trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. To throw his car. Again, it's Johnson. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And quickly, they get to the line. Oh, what the fuck? He'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. 93. Throwing on second and long. Carr. That's to his running back. It's Alvin Kamara. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Throwing his car on third down. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and ten. Here's Carr. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit. Just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. Again, they'll throw with Carr. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, when the running game's not working, sometimes you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Fucking game is broken, dog. You don't even let me hike the fucking ball. No, so they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. After the delay, they're backed up even further for third and long. In motion goes the tight end. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to let it go again. And that will be incomplete. 
Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Uh, that's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. But that's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Car going to go on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Mm -hmm. 